We always enjoy learning about new birds from our friends at Sylvan Heights Bird Park in Scotland Neck, North Carolina. Today, we're going to feature the Scarlet Ibis. Take a look. There are 27 species of Ibis. Uh, the scarlet ones are definitely the most recognizable because of their bright, vivid coloration, which actually comes from their diet. In the wild, ibis are wading birds, so they search for their food along shorelines, around rivers, and uh, even areas of salt water. Around the edge of the water, they'll look for mollusks and insects and crustaceans, and most of their coloring actually comes from the crustaceans they eat. Scarlet ibis are native to South America and some islands in the Caribbean, and they're actually the national bird of Trinidad. In the wild, scarlet ibis live in colonies that are usually are around 30 individuals, but can get up to numbers as large as in the thousands for um, protection from predators. Um, in the wild, they're predated on by larger birds, uh, big cats, and even humans will actually hunt scarlet ibis for their meat. Uh, here currently in our South America aviary this time of year is actually nesting season for our own flock of scarlet ibis. And in the tree behind me, though you can't really see too well right now, there's actually a lot of uh, ibis nests and chicks currently being raised, uh, parent reared by their parents. Um, ibis build their nests out of sticks. And so what we'll typically do is we'll scatter sticks throughout the aviary and the ibis will come down and they'll pick them up themselves. And they build loose platforms in the trees. And those are in those nests is where they'll raise the chicks. The chicks typically stay in the nest for 35 days, and then at 75 days, they are completely weaned from the parents and are eating on their own. The chicks do not start out this vibrant red color. They actually start out uh, mostly black and gray with a little bit of white, and this helps to camouflage the chicks in the nest as well as right after they fledge from uh, predators. And parents will feed the chicks the same things they eat, so they'll get a variety of insects and mollusks, mostly insects, though also small fish occasionally. Uh, here in our aviary, we actually provide them small fish to feed the chicks as well as a pelleted diet. Ibis are monogamous during the breeding season. The pair will actually stay together just, just for the breeding season, but they are, they do co-parent, so they do raise the chicks together. They alternate incubating the eggs as well as feeding the chicks when they're in the nest as well as when they fledge. In the wild, scarlet ibis can live anywhere from 16 to 20 years, but in captivity, they can live to be as old as 30. To gain safety in the wild, scarlet ibis flocks are known to mingle with other types of shorebirds, egrets, herons and ducks, pretty much any, any bird that won't predate them, they will typically mingle with for safety in numbers. So they do very well in this mixed species aviary. We actually also have spoonbills in here that uh, are pretty much part of the ibis flock. Please feel free to come out to the park and see our ibis. Pretty soon you'll actually be able to see the chicks out walking around and they'll be pretty distinct because they'll be a lot darker than the parents. And uh, please come visit us soon. And you can plan your visit to Sylvan Heights Bird Park, located at 500 Sylvan Heights Parkway in Scotland Neck, North Carolina. They're open Tuesday through Sunday from 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. For all the information, we'll have a link on our website by early this afternoon, wtbr.com slash VTM. Those ibis, do you think they're ever like, hey, flamingo, check out this color? Hey, I'm much brighter than yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. Stay tuned. There's much more Virginia this morning to enjoy right after this.